What's going on? This is Craig Clotter here. We're going to do the simplest 3D toolpath you can ever do in Mastercam. Anyone can do this. It's the flow line. Let's go right into it. Okay, first off, okay, I have my part right on my plane. I don't have a radius cutter to cut this radius right there. Okay, I don't know what the radius is. I don't know, but I, I don't have a radius tool, and the boss, he ain't going to give me no funding for the tool. You know? So what do I do? Okay, this is what you do. Very, very easy. Surfaces. Click surfaces. Okay, then you're going to make a loft surface. See, I made a new plane there. I don't know if I mentioned that. And I'm going to click them. See, both the arrows are going in the same direction. Green check. Now I'm going to turn surfaces off, or the model off. Now I'm going to go to extend. And I'm going to extend it by 50,000. Okay, because I just want it to overcut. So if you don't, you'll get a little notch in there from the machine feed rate going to zero and going back up. Okay. Now if that doesn't work, you got to go to extend and extend trim entities. Then you got to grab it here and you got to grab it at the points you want to trim from. It's that simple. Okay. It's just a different way of doing it. So if you get an error, try the trim. This will work no matter what. Trimmed edges, you just pick the other two sides you want it to pop out. All right now, what you're going to do. What you gonna do when it come for you? You go to your machine. Okay, do I not have a machine picked yet? I do not. Go to your machine. Then you're gonna go to your 3D pass and you go all the way down here to flow line. And then you're gonna select that surface right there. End selection. Now you're gonna go, I don't care about any of this. I'm gonna go to that squiggly line. I grab the squiggly line. Okay. And this is my options. Okay, I want it to go this way. I want it to start from the bottom and go up, so I use the flute of the end mill. You can do whatever you want, dude. Okay. That's all I'm going to have it, just like that. Now, what you're going to need is a ball end mill. So, I'm just going to stay in the generic library for right now, because I just want to keep cruising here. Let's grab a 1 8 ball end mill. All right, now we're going to want to give it a distance of 10,000 step now. It's a zigzag. Go into your gap settings. Give it a distance of 0.500 right there. Boom. Don't ever forget to go to your coolant and turn that on. Boom. Boom. Now, with this pad, do you see how it's kind of choppy like that? If it's choppy like that, and you don't like it, you change this number right here to 5,000. Okay, now let's see what we got. Now, see, oh, hey, I like that a little bit better. So, you know, if you, however fine you want it to be, you know, you can you can either change the tolerance here too. I think might do something. Let's see. Ah, uh, not really. But anyway, you get you catch my drift. You can go all the way down to five tenths, one tenth if you want, a millionth. I don't know how. Whatever your machine reads. See, you get a real nice smooth finish. Now, what's good about this toolpath is it's not going to go outside the boundaries of the service you make. It's going to make that surface and that's it. So you don't got to worry about restrictions. So when you do your graphic verify, it'll be beautiful. So that's how you do the surface, surface finish flow line. All right. Thank you very much.